This is Yuri. Hi. Today, Akira-san will show us three different ways to prepare aji, a horse mackerel. We will use beautifully filleted aji from the previous episode. If you haven't checked it out, click here. This video is sectioned into three parts, A, J, I. And for A, we will introduce you how to do tataki. J will be for sashimi and I for sushi. First thing first, we will start off by plating tsuma. I'm sure you all recognize the shredded veggies from our video, Tsuma, how to make crisp veggie salad. Today we'll use a bit of carrot and also a shiso leaf for color. Let's get rid of the stem and that's it. Secondly, let's peel off the skin from Aji's filet. Pinch the thickest part of skin and use your other thumb to pull off the meat from the skin. Then push your thumb in between and work your way gradually. Once you've gone halfway, pull the skin off at once. Here, make sure to hold the fillet as the meat tends to get peeled off together with the skin. Our aji is ready! So now let's make aji no tataki, a finely chopped aji. First, let's trim both sides of filet. Then simply chop aji into small bits, about 1 cm wide. You can go thinner than this if you want to, but personally, the texture is better in this size. No need to plate it neatly, this is meant to be a relaxing otsumami dish, so we are aiming for a casual, down-to-earth style. Some of you might be familiar with the term tataki, but is wondering one thing, what is tataki? Yes, tataki has a couple of meanings. For fishes like aji and tuna, tataki is to chop it well. However, for fishes like bonito, tataki is to sear. Right, tataki doesn't necessarily refer to one cooking method. But originally, it is said that it comes from how fishermen use the cat and yakumi using their hand after searing fish. Now back to kitchen. After placing chopped negi and a bit of grated ginger, dress it together with nikiri zoyu, nan, meshiagare. We will now show you quick tips to bring your sashimi to next level. Start off by trimming both ends of filet, then simply make a shallow cut diagonally like this from both sides. This technique can be applied to store-bought sashimi too, so it's really easy. The point here is to make small cuts. By doing this, it's really easier to chew on, and also it's aesthetically better looking. It decorates your fish. And last but not least, nikiri joyu blends in better. Now, sushi time! Detailed step-by-step nigiri techniques needs a lot of time to explain. So in this episode, we will show you a quick run-through of how Akira-san does it. So sit back and relax. This is horse mackerel. Bye! Thank you and arigatou! See you in the next video!